Well, two examples I have of this are a soccer game last fall in which uh, the referees decided to use this curious phrase, which I'm sure, Will, you've heard of, just let the kids play. It is one of the most damaging philosophical uh, phrases that applies to youth sports. Let the kids play means let them bump each other, elbow each other, just game flow. We want to keep the game flowing. So what happened was I arrived in Mamaroneck, New York with my team and saw a referee and two uh, assistant referees. First time in three years that that happened. I was very excited. Wow, we've got the center ref and two referees that are going to run the sidelines. This is going to be a tight game, well called, excellent. What proceeded to happen for the first half as I counted it, there were 27 fouls that were not called by the referees. Some of them were light, kids just shoving each other. They're all 11 and 12 years old. One of them might have been a trip. One of them was a hard push. But what happens is when kids are in a situation like this where the, the, uh, the adults who are, govern, you know, who are to govern their play space are not holding the team and the kids, they're not creating conditions that are safe, is that the kids start to go wild. Basically, if I can push you and get the ball and the ref's not going to call it, why wouldn't I do it? I'm going to get the ball. Coach is yelling at me, get the ball. That's how I'm going to do it. So we had a, a, a kind of a perfect storm here of a coach on the other side who screamed at the kids constantly and three referees who did nothing. Okay, so what? We get this all the time. It was a difficult game. You play through it. Only with a minute left to go before the end of the half, one of their kids took the whole push the other guy because nobody's calling it a little too far, and he ran into my biggest player, the player who on our side was, was able to keep the most capable. He ran right into him, head-on head collision. Both kids fell down. Mine got up a little bit dizzy but furious and angry because he'd been pushed around all game, and the other kid was concussed. The other kid was actually taken out of the game immediately and taken to an emergency room. I took my, my guy out because he started trying to shove all their other players because he's not a kid who starts a fight, but now he was really angry. He later had, had ended up, he had a concussion, and uh, luckily his school had done a baseline test, and he was out for three weeks. No playing, no math, no school. This is how serious it can be. Maybe you all know somebody, but I know kids who have not studied math for two years because of concussions they've had. The sad thing is none of this was necessary if the referee had called properly the game. And, that's, and the, the age appropriateness of this is when you have kids who are 17 or 18, you allow them a little more space. You don't let them kick each other and trip each other and elbow each other, but they're allowed to be a little more physical. When they're 14, it's different. When it's 12, they're 12, it's different. But we don't have, for some reason, an educative system that t teaches referees and coaches and heads of leagues that, that age-appropriate play and age-appropriate governance are critical to keeping our kids out of emergency rooms.